So now I am moving towards Bouquet. Uh, Bouquet library basically, uh, both the uh, matplotlib and seaborn libraries, they were static. Means uh, whatever plot, whatever plot you generate that is there, you cannot play with it, you cannot interact with it. Although the Bouquet actually generates a plot that is uh, interactive you can play with it you can you can you can do interactions with that plot and stuff like so so let me actually um, start with with bouquet uh, just with an example so let's say from bouquet dot plotting um, import let's say figure output file where you want your output file to reside and show function let's do that so that happens now let me set the output file name because the output here is always an HTML file. Um, it generate a plot in HTML format in, in a separate HTML or sometimes in the same notebook depending upon how you set your output file. So that's our output file. Let's say demo.html. Um, let's generate uh, an object of a figure. Here this figure is imported from bouquet plotting it is not the figure uh, there in um, it is not the figure that you have seen earlier in as plt dot figure it is the figure from from bouquet so figure then inside the figure let's have uh, let's have this function um, uh, so inside the figure let's let's have some of these properties of that figure let's say we need a plot width uh, width as let's say 800, let's say that's our plot width. Let's say we have plot height, let's say H-E-I-G-H-T height, let's say that is uh, maybe 400. And the title uh, of this particular plot, let's say that title is line. And uh, what we next do is uh, p dot line. that's the object that creates basically the figure. And now we are going to give the content inside that figure. So we want to generate a line plot, for example, and let's have um, x coordinates as one, two, three, four, and five. These are the x coordinates. Let's say the y coordinates are basically uh, six, seven, eight, <coughs> nine, and let's say ten. And uh, we can also set some line, some properties here. Uh, width. Let's say line width is is two. Let's set some properties here. And then at the end, once you have annotated all your object uh, of type figure, then you have to call a show function on this object to just get it running. So now this will open up, uh, this will open up as a demo.html in browser. And not only that, you can, you can interact with this plot. You see here, uh, I mean, there are a lot of controls here, um, for example, um, zoom you can you can just do the zoom and you can just go and see uh, what is happening you can have the field zoom as well if you just do that you can save the figure you can reset all the figure um, I mean yeah so you can interact so so the basically basically the the most powerful thing is that you can interact with that plot um, you, you can set color bars here in, in for example in for example three dimensions you can rotate the plots and you can see the surfaces uh, in in several angles um, yeah so that that's about uh, that's about the interactive plotting uh, let's see a couple of more examples in bouquet just to get uh, comfortable with bouquet and uh, uh, so let's see some some more examples let's say by the way there you can have these line plots you can have these circle markers or circle plots you can have these triangle markers all that you have seen in matplotlib um, there's a support there in book as well so for example let me generate a figure um, with plot width let's say plot width as uh, let's say 800 let's say that's plot width uh, then we have let's say plot height plot height uh, h a i g h t plot height is let's say a thousand and let's say the title of the plot is uh, let's say example let's say that's the title you can have an you can have another title you can have uh, x uh, x as uh, label of that plot let's say that is uh, x 
and you can have the y-axis label let's say y the purpose here is to just to show you that you can you can basically annotate all your plot in several different ways if you want so that is let's say a figure and let's generate some data let's say x is np dot lin space um, maybe zero um, to 10 maybe and let's generate the 30 points let's say that is my x uh, then y1 might be np dot sin x uh, y2 might be um, np dot cos x and uh, further um, we can have now p dot line for example that will give a continuous or solid plot uh, with let's say x y1 and we can have legend here we can specify the legend as uh, sin x sin x that's our legend we can have p dot for example circle uh, in form of the circle markers and we can have let's say x x and we can have legend legend here um, um, x itself and we may have further properties for example if we have circle we will maybe may want to fill its color with uh, let's say some color let's say green and uh, we also we may want to set the size of the marker uh, if you want really yes um, next let's use a uh, triangle marker as well triangle so triangle um, X um, let's use um, y2 maybe let's use y2 um, and uh, let's have legend legend as uh, legend as cause cause X and um, yeah we can we can have for example size equals three and finally let's let's show the plot so let's see what it does yeah so it basically oh uh, uh, it, it actually goes to this why it is actually going to use all these legends here so i i guess i have done some mistake in setting the legend um, legend is x and x that is circle and the legend is simply x um, so yeah in this particular circle case I'm getting uh, let's say y equals x I'm getting something wrong um, yeah so I guess this is uh, this is relatively more okay but the you can see here for example um, this is a line that is going there um, and you can further you can for example zoom to uh, different areas to just see what is happening and this is what is happening basically uh, the size of triangle is really small you can you can you can have larger sizes for example maybe you have this uh, size as as 10 and you get a plot that is uh, more visual in in terms of the sizes you can have different colors as well if you want um, yeah so but but the main 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 goal is basically you can you can you can play with it you can you can see you can zoom you can save the figure and all that stuff if you really want so yeah so that's okay we can have grid plots as well um, in, in grid plots you can you can combine in bouquet grid plots you can combine different plots together um, as 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 one shape and you can play with all of them just once or if you want to play them individually you can do that you can set the properties of grades and all that stuff so um, I basically end here um, uh, this uh, the second part of this video I end the video here uh, actually there is much more detail to talk about um, that we will be discussing uh, as I mentioned again and again we'll be discussing we'll be discussing all these contents that you have seen you have just seen the snapshots of the contents we are going to discuss that in detail in in a bit more length um, in our full course at AI Sciences so if you uh, like this content if you like this video uh, subscribe our channel um, like our content and uh, share with your friends 
and do press the notification button so that um, you get the notifications for our upcoming material um, and, and you'll get notified, um, uh, I mean, in time. So, and, and by the way, do enroll our, our full course. It, it is full of fun and you will see much more details than you've seen here. Um, you, you'll be, you, you might be finding that course really, really interesting and helpful and useful. So, but anyhow, uh, good luck.